So obviously ICML is a lymphoma meeting, but there were some sessions here on CLL. There was some biology, but also, of course, of much more interest um, uh, for our patients is the clinical sessions that were here. Pretty much all of the clinical sessions here focused on new agents, uh, very much in keeping with kind of advances in the field. Looking at, um, for instance, Tom Kipps showed a very nice analysis uh, summarizing and bringing together all the clinical trial data for all the patients on clinical trials with ibrutinib kind of dispelling some of the myths that we had as to some of the subgroups of patients that would do less well. So in that analysis, complex karyotype did not come out to be worse, uh, worse outcome, although it didn't include the 17P patients, and we'll see. The, the data on 11Q continues to look interesting that maybe that patient group are doing even better. A lot of the other work has focused not so much on single agents, but looking at how we build on these responses by taking some of these first and second generation compounds and adding in uh, other, other, other compounds. So we've seen doublets and triplets of therapies, different antibodies being added, different anti-CD20 antibodies, CD19 antibodies, uh, BTK with PI3 kinase inhibition, diff second generation BTK uh, inhibitions. All of those studies are showing very good responses, which is good news. The, the slight disappointment, I'd say, is that virtually all the studies that I've seen presented here have had relatively short follow-up. And in the, in the setting of using things like BTK inhibitors, you, we know that we need longer follow-up to really be able to see it. And we particularly need longer follow-up to be able to ascertain whether these drugs really do represent an advance over what we already have. What is very clear is that the side effect profile of almost all of these agents looks very acceptable. And as we see that many patients tolerate drugs well, for those groups of patients who don't tolerate the drug so well, having other choices is going to be, I think, very important for our patients.